This is Total Telecom at the Broadband World Forum with Court de Boer of Nokia. Court, you gave a presentation on the opening morning and you talked about three steps to the heaven of network transformation. What are those three steps? Uh, the three steps are basically around the planning, around the uh, deployment and around the operationalizing of the uh, broadband uh, evolution. Um, and what we see is that m few customers are look at these kind of programs in an end-to-end -end kind of way. And so what we uh, believe is uh, important is that, that really customers start to think about the planning aspect with the end state in mind. So really think about from day one about, so it's not only about the technology choice, but it's also about how you're going to implement this technology, uh, how you're going to operationalize it, but also how do you make sure that the choices that you make can be sustainable for the future. Um, and actually, the reality is that very few customers uh, uh, to think about is really end-to-end, -end, right? So, so we think there's an opportunity here uh, in order to, uh, to, to do this more. And it's not just for nicety of doing this. Uh, we, what we see is that if you do this well, you, you, you try the three stages together of planning, deployment and operationalizing it, you actually your return on investment, um, your quality um, and actually your time to market is improving. And this is obviously in today's market share, which uh, market environment, which is very competitive for operators, is cr is quite crucial. Yeah, and I think to achieve it, you're also talking about improving that partnership between between vendors and operators. Yeah, so um, it's interesting because if if you go around the world and you talk to operators, you actually see that a lot of them are reinventing the wheel. In our view, everybody is thinking about the same problems, but they all have their own solutions. And by the way, a lot of these solutions are actually pretty good. But it takes a lot of time and energy to, uh, to think of these uh, solutions. And, and actually there's an opportunity, therefore, I think, to benefit from, um, from what we see in the industry. Uh, and so to that end, we have built what we call seven service innovation areas that are playing into these three phases of planning, deploying and optimizing, optimizing the, uh, the rollouts. Um, and they're all based upon um, our, our expertise that we have, the, the knowledge that we have in our company, but therefore also the expertise of, uh, of, sorry, experience of what we do around the world. It's not just from one operators, but we see again what, what they collectively are doing. And then we, we saw quite some areas where we could uh, automate these kind of things. So using tools, uh, not to necessarily just replace people, because sometimes it's a cost saving by taking out labor, but often it's in order to help to increase the quality, to improve, uh, improve the way things are being done and, and to make them much more predictable. So that's kind of how we, uh, how, we, how we look at this. And therefore partnering, we think, with a company like a Nokia makes a lot of sense for, for many operators. And of course the Nokia approach has been very much confirmed only this week by an OVM report that came out. Yeah, it's, it's quite interesting. So uh, OVM looked at, uh, they interviewed I believe 50 operators around the world, right? So, and, 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 and they're from Asia, from Americas, from Europe, etc. And, and the other thing that they, they've done is they asked the question, so how do you look at some of these aspects today, but also how you look at it in the future? And, and therefore, um, it, it, it gives kind of a, a window into what's going to happen in the next years. And what you see is that increasingly quality of experience for the end users is becoming important in the OVM analysis. Um, and increasingly, the, uh, the, the planning of making sure that the networks are, are sustainable for the future is, uh, is, is becoming important. And, and so I, I think that plays very much into our story. Uh, we believe that, uh, again, by, by partnering and by planning, deploying and optimizing your networks, using some of these innovation kind of capabilities is, is, is really uh, helping to address some of the topics that OVM uh, identified as, uh, as, as challenges for our operators. Yeah. So are you already working on some of this or is it futuristic? Have you, have you any examples of this work? Yeah, no, it's, it's, so it's, um, it's, uh, uh, it's actually based upon, again, things that we've done over the last years and what we found with operators uh, around the world. So um, yeah, it's, so it's, it's real, real, really happening and some of, the, some of the KPIs improvements that I've shown in, in the presentation are not just academic kind of things, they're, they're based upon real life examples of what, we've, what we are today doing uh, with customers. So for instance, um, uh, what I always find a very interesting and, 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 and unique uh, uh, thing is for instance this ONT Easy Start, which is one of our service uh, innovation areas. Um, we, what we do see is that operators typically spend about three times as much on deploying an ONT versus what they spent on the ONT itself. Um, but they don't necessarily tie these two worlds together. And so we believe by using ONT Easy Start, by automating the activation of the ONT in somebody's home without having to do a truck roll or having somebody to go to the site of the end user uh, is a significant opportunity. And they can take out, as I said, three times uh, the cost of the ONT by doing that, improving the quality because it's 99% right first time, so the activation is so the customer is up and running and can use its service from, uh, from that moment on. 
And so that's a real life example of what we're doing today. Um, the other one I think that's always very interesting is network build control management. It's uh, NBCM as we call it. It sounds a little bit like a bank, but it's actually, it's a relative simple uh, structure underpinned by some tools and capabilities we have, but it, it, it taps into all the aspects of a customer's organization and tying it all to, together in kind of a uh, control tower mode, if you will, and, and giving the operator much more um, control and visibility on about what's happening and therefore making their program much more um, successful from, an, from a time to market perspective, from a cost management perspective, etc. And so these are some real life examples of what we do today. Uh, that that uh, that that are available and can be replicated, uh, quite honestly. So. Well, we've uh, we can see from the exhibition stand here, it's absolutely packed with people. Has been since the show started, so you must be doing something right. Yep. In the meantime, thank you very much for joining us. Absolutely, thank you.